Hey guys, welcome back. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to scrape the financials off of the Finviz website. So if you go to Finviz and navigate to a specific ticker, so for example, for NVIDIA, if you scroll down, you should see the financials. Now these are available on a quarterly and annual basis and part of this is sectioned off. So for this tutorial, I'm just gonna be showing you guys how to get the income statement portion. You should follow the same steps if you're trying to get the balance sheet and cash flow statements as well. But if you right click and click on inspect and we're gonna to navigate to network, we're gonna go ahead and refresh the page, go back to the financials. Here I'm gonna to toggle between quarterly and annual a couple of times just to make sure that it loads up. And we're going to click on pause. Let's maximize this a little bit. Now here in this filter URLs, I'm just going to type in statement. And I'm going to sort by file. And you want to look for the JSON types. So since we toggled it a couple of times, it loaded up both the annual ending in IA and the quarterlies ending in IQ. So that's the only difference between these two, just the URL. But if you click on it, we're going to need a couple of things. First, you want to grab this URL. So just highlight it and click on a copy value. And you're going to paste that in your R script. Now for the request headers, you can do this a couple of ways. You can copy each value from the request header headers but if you hover over here under statement and right click it we're going to click on copy value copy request headers and you're going to need to paste that into your R script as well so since the request headers is a little bit lengthier I'll show you what I did in the R script so in the R markdown we're going to start off by pasting the URL here which is the one I showed you under network which is this one not the URL you navigated to so just paste that in the R markdown since I already copied it I'm just going to paste them in this R markdown we're going to start off by removing this very first line Line. Now for each of these headers, you're going to put these in single quotes and you're going to replace all the colons afterwards with equal signs, anything afterwards in single quotes. And for each of these, you're going to end them in a comma. So in the end, it should look like mine in this R markdown. So all of these will end with commas except for the last one. Once you have the URL and your header set, we're going to submit a get request by passing in the URL along with the headers. So let's go ahead and run this block. Now in your environment, you should see page. So if you click on it, you should hopefully see a status code of 200, which means we were able to submit our get request successfully and it returns some data. So we're gonna extract the content in the following block. And the way to do that is by using content from HTTR and passing in the page. So if we run that block, we take a look at res. This is what the actual data looks like. Now we need to extract the values which are in data. So for each of these lists, we have some data in there. So we have a total of eight values for each, which will be helpful to know. Now, if we go back to our R script, we're gonna go ahead and unlist all the data. We're gonna extract the names for our rows. And since we know that this has eight values, we wanna format it in a way that that it returns eight columns. So the way to do that is by using matrix. We're gonna pass in our unlisted items and reformat into eight columns. And we're gonna then convert that into a data frame and assign the row names. Now up to this point, we don't have any column names since it actually returned that as a row. So we're gonna use that information to set the column names and then drop the first row and finally print our final data frame. So if we go ahead and run this block here, this should be our final output, but we'll take a look at that since it's available in our environment. So we're able to see the hidden items. Now, since we have our data formatted, we can go ahead and put this into a function. So in the next block, I'm just gonna copy all the items from the previous blocks, and we're gonna make a wrapper out of it. For the parameters, I'm just gonna have the symbol for what stock this data should be for, and our AQ, which is annual or quarterly. All we really need to format is just the URL here at the top. Everything else stayed exactly the same. So let's go ahead and run this block as well. Now we can go ahead and test to get annual and quarterly data. So we can do a different ticker here. Amazon for the annual. And we could do Google for the quarterlies. So there you have it, guys. This is how to scrape this information from Finviz for both the annual and quarterlies. You can use a similar approach to get the statement of cash flows and the balance sheet information as well. And this concludes the video. I'll leave a link down in the description area to my Patreon where you can find the script. Please consider subscribing to the channel if you haven't done so already. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video.